Last Christmas I gave you my heart scale But you pushed me away when you used Aqua Tail This year I'll catch a weird deer And Eevee train it special <laughs> What's going on everybody? I'm Flash Ketchup And we are heading back into our holiday season Christmas lock uh, Last episode we beat Brock and now that I'm looking at it, we actually didn't even update our layout, which is bad juju. But this is a Christmas lock, so we've got some special rules here. I can only catch Pokemon that are 1. Holiday themed, 2. Red or green, or 3. Are an ice or grass type Pokemon. If I don't see any Pokemon on the route that fits those descriptions, then I can catch 3 ghost Pokemon the entire run. That is a ghost of Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future. But instead of permadeathing, we've got a naughty list, and we've got one Pokemon on our naughty list, but since we did beat a gym leader, we can take one Pokemon off of the naughty list. That's going to be our Q fan tier. I think I'm going to leave the team that we have for now, though, um, which I should update on our layout, because that's good juju. We keep our teams updated in this house. Um, ooh, let, me, let me heal that in a second. Yikes. Uh, let's see, we don't have Rudolph right now. We have a Mr. Rhyme. Oh, I guess... Mr. Rhyme is not on here? Oh, there he is. There's just no space. <laughs> I was gonna say, how do we not have Mr. Rhyme in 2023? But we've got Mr. Rhyme Artumnus here. Uh, let's see, we have Snowball, we have Jingle Bell, who's evolved now, actually. Hold on, we, we didn't update that? Cringe. And let's see, we also have our Dublade. And this is Xmas Past. My favorite X-Men movie. Uh, I think this is the team we have. Yeah, looks good to me. So this episode, we're gonna finally get to, uh find out what that egg we got last time was. We also have a new level cap, so let's do that now before I forget. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just having a blast recording this so far. I thought of this at work today, and I was like, <gasps> wait, this will be really fun. So, I'm gonna rock with it. Hopefully we can beat this before December 25th and restore holiday cheer to the Pokemon world. Santa can't deliver the presents this year, so we need to find a Pokemon champion that's fueled by Holiday Spirit. Hopefully that'll be me. But looking at the, uh, looking at the Pokemon we've been getting so far, it's gonna be tough. Um, I think what I've decided on is, yeah, we're gonna do the Naughty List, right? So, instead of having Permadeath, we're going to have to clear a gym leader to get a Pokemon off of that naughty list. Which means we're probably going to lose more Pokemon than we can get off. Because there's only a... Eh, wait, wait, wait. I have a sound for that. More Pokemon than we can get off. Um, there's only so many we can get, you know? Um, that being said... Ooh, skill swap? Yeah, I like that more than roleplay, actually. Um... I wonder if that'll count, like, Faulkner. We beat him, but we hadn't lost a Pokemon yet. That's what I could use your opinion on in the comment section. Um, if you think that clearing the optional gym bosses should get a Pokemon off the naughty list, that's something I'd be curious to see what you guys think about. Otherwise, we would only get eight resurrections the whole run. And looking at the kind of Pokemon that we've been seeing... I don't think we can go all the way with that. <laughs> uh, let's do extra sensory over Psy Wave. It's a little bit more consistent. Snowball. Uh, your moveset doesn't super matter right now. Except for maybe in double battles if we can skill swap you with Mr. Rhyme. Ooh, hold on. We're, we're cooking now. But we're going to run back down south. We're going to grab our encounter, not encounter, our egg over in uh, the Pokemon League. Which means we'll also have to take on a rival. 
but he's kind of a chump if I'm if I'm being H. If I'm T being H at this moment. Oh, forgot about you. Uh, let's just leech seed you. Uh, I know I'm confused, but I don't I don't trust myself. So why don't we snowball? And we'll go with a mud slap. Brother. And wow, your whole team was weak to your whole team. You don't need to catch that. Oh, what did that just make me think of? Oh, yeah, since we have return, we should max out our friendship on our reindeer. Uh, where's my Pomeg? Yeah. Bro, stab return is gonna hit hard! Low-key Dasher might be an incredible Pokemon. I believe. Especially once we get hidden abilities, this thing might, might be cracked. Let's keep going. Keep going. Not that far. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we could, we could just leave Dasher, I think. I feel confident in his abilities, especially against a Soul Rock. Yeah. Especially against a Mind Food. Yeah. That's what I thought, Green. Are you red team or green team this holiday season? Or maybe you're blue and white team, or some other color. Let, let me know the colors of the holiday you are most looking forward to celebrating this year. I just, I just love the holiday season, like, I get in higher spirits, um, it's fun to look forward to the next year. I've got some really exciting plans. Ooh, Dragalge! Now again, this is another question I have for the comment section, and let me know if you have opinions on this, but should we count gift Pokémon, i.e. this egg, as part of our run? Um, I'm looking at you, you look kind of like a Poinsettia. So I'm going to name you Poinsettia. Um, that's, that's a holiday flower, right? And this is a gift. Somebody gave me this Pokemon. But for now, I'll leave it in the box until the comment section gives me a verdict on that. Reckless isn't a great ability. On you, at least. I'll leave you down here on the bottom. That's how I'll know. But not a bad Pokemon. The typing is, is good. We don't have that typing yet. I don't think we have a Poison or a Dragon type yet. Bro, look at my monkey go. Monkey Deluffy? <laughs> if you missed my Introduction to Myself episode, uh, make sure you go and watch the last two, because we've had some fun stuff happen already. Um, but I'm a huge One Piece fan, and it's taking everything in me not to name every Pokemon I have after a One Piece character. So I hope you can get some respect out of me for th showing some restraint, you know? But this year has been incredible in the uh, the anime world. Uh, One Piece is my favorite story of all time, but I've, I've really enjoyed a lot of high-quality anime this year. Um, I think my favorite anime I watched this year was Vinland Saga. After that, I would probably put Zom 100 and then One Piece and then Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. I've been caught up on Jujutsu Kaisen's manga for about a year and a half now. And it's kind of lost me. Not gonna lie. Ooh, hold on a second. I feel like... Ponyta could count because, like... One of the, the standard, like, stereotypical... What do you want for Christmas? I want a pony! Is literally right there. Um, other than that, we do have an Articuno, but I don't think I could catch you yet. I don't really have reliable status at this time. Uh, man, Charmeleon really wants to get caught. But again, I think when we have options, I have to go with what is the most fitting. And I think it's Ponyta. So let's go catch a Ponyta, shall we? Ponyta is a really good Pokemon. I love the the fairy fire typing is dope as heck. Dope as. 
sorry. Um, let's go with Squirtle for you. Yeah. And you just want to get Quick Ball, don't you? Let's go! I'm gonna name you all caps. Oh no, I know what I'm gonna name you. I'm gonna name you Wish. You're my Christmas Wish. Is a pony. Let's check out Wish's ability. Wish, you are coming with... Wait. Oh, it's in our party. I was like, I just clicked on Bullpix. <laughs> uh, plus. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. We have minus. <gasps> Ooh, wait, we actually have plus minus synergy? I mean, those abilities are still ass. Don't get me wrong. But at least we have synergy now. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm actually going to put you on the team. That seems really fun. Ooh, Covet I will take. This thing is normally a physical attacker, I believe. Uh, so let's, let's update our abilities, and then we will press forward into this route. Um, but when this episode is going up, it should be a Friday, which means that tonight at 8 o'clock p.m., I'm going to be streaming a uh, Hollow Knight. So if that's something you're interested in, by all means... Uh, my link will be in the description to my Twitch channel. Um, I've really been enjoying playing that game. Uh, let's see. What do, I, I wanted to check if you're more physical. Yeah, you are. Um, yeah, 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 I like this a lot. But yeah, it should be going up tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific time. So let me know if that's if that's something you want to watch by uh, showing up and saying, "Hey, I came from YouTube." That would mean a lot to me. Uh, but let's press forward. Let's update our layout, because again, that's good juju. Uh, who do we have? We've got Squirtle, Tumnus, Dasher, Chimeco, Christmas Pass, and Wish. Let's grab our Ponyta from Galar. Is this not a fire type yet? Oh, it says it is. It says it is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say it is. All right, we've got our wish, our ponyta, and let's just make sure I'm on the right scene. Yes, I am. Beautiful. All right, now we can press forward. But yeah, I'm excited to just play through this game some more. Um, I haven't won this game yet. <gasps> or Calcum Pulse on Dozo. I'm gonna Leech Seed you because you have like a million health. Oh, remember I said no speeding up during battle because it cost me? Let's actually remember to do that. Oh, bro, I actually can't touch you. Oh, but I have faint attack. Ooh, I'm gonna call that calculated. Yummy, 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 yummy. Give me that leech seed. But what's something that you're looking forward to this holiday season? Um, I'm really looking forward to just uh, hanging out with my friends and family a lot. I have a dog and he's very like, I wish I could show you guys right now. His butt is on the bed and his head is on the floor. He's just such, we call him a lump. He's such a cozy guy. He loves to snuggle. So I'm looking forward to the days that I have off, and I can just snuggle with my dog all day. Alright, Bug Catcher is down. I'm kind of fine leading with Dasher right now. Uh, let's see. Why don't we just go Flame Wheel? Swalot. We have Psychic Types for you, actually. Which feels great to say. I don't want to stay status, so I'm going to heal. And I think I'm going to lead with Dasher. That feels good. Ooh, some Throat Spray. I could use some of that right now. I've been talking a lot. And I'm fresh out of my good luck root beer. 
But you don't have static, so I'm just gonna return you. Call me Amazon. Ooh, this is scary. Um, I feel like Christmas Pass is just a good neutral option. You tailwind. Uh, oh, you're dark flying. I thought... I always forget that. Let's just go for Aerial Ace. Ooh! Okay, I actually eat that up. <laughs> that kind of terrified me, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, does anybody learn Teleport? That is one of my favorite moves in this game, since it's on set battle style. Having any move that helps me to switch is amazing. Bro, I'm literally going to teach it to everybody that can learn it. Um, let's get rid of Encore for now. Jingle Bell. Uh, I like that more than Astonish. And Wish. I feel like we don't need Flame Wheel and Flame Charge. I'll actually take this Feed Boost version of that. That's dope. Uh, we could get Rock Tomb. Okay, that's fine. We also do get a Shiny on the next route. Um, shiny Claws is usually a thing in Nuzlocke, but what I'm going to say is if there's a more fitting Pokemon, uh, then we're going to take that instead of our gift Pokemon. Of a shiny, um, just because I want to, I want to stick with the theme of the run as much as possible. But let's see what our shiny is. It's always the second slot, which is a Scolipede. I feel like that's not very holiday vibey. Um, anything else down here that is holiday themed, or red or green? Um. Let's check the night time. Ooh. Ooh, Oricorio is red. I feel like Slurpuff is kind of holiday themed, right? It's a uh, it's like a dessert. You like bring dessert to <laughs> That feels like such a stretch. The more I the more I explain it, the more I feel like I'm stretching. Um we already talked about maybe having Teddy Ursa as our Ghost of Christmas present. That means we would have already have used two of our ghosts. We only get one more for the whole run. But I don't really see anything that's better. So I think I feel fine about that. Let's go with maybe... Let's go with you. That should be a pretty safe bet. And Teddy Ursa just wants to get quick balled anyway. There we go. So this is our Ghost of Christmas present. Uh, probably gonna have to go like that. And let's see what Christmas present is packing. What kind of schmeat are you packing, huh? Clear body. Not bad. I'll actually take that. Uh, but this is a free Pokemon Center, so we might as well stop in and heal. But yeah, this guy, if you're playing for the first time, will give you a Pokemon. And if you talk to him a second time, he'll give you the same Pokemon, but shiny. And it is always this Pokemon in the second slot up here. So in this case, he would give us a Scolipede. Uh, that, to me, does not feel like the holiday vibe. But thankfully, Mount Moon, we have a lot of options for our encounter. So I am feeling like we're going to get a holiday a holiday friend here. So we have Floor 1. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already seeing lots of red and green Pokemon. I'm kind of leaning Bayleaf, honestly. Um, yeah, I feel like I could name like Mistletoe. That'd be a really good name for you. Uh, let's check the other time of day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Bayleaf on floor number one. But we're going to go ahead and see all of our options before we pick. Because there could be something even more holiday themed. There could be a deli bird. Santa himself could be down here. 
Oh, I never fight this guy. What the heck? Uh, freaking up. Will I guess? Tora cat. Did you just fake me out? And Kakuna? Shoutouts to all the Joshes that are out there. If your name is Josh, go ahead and type what's up in the comments. I know there's at least one of you. Okay, floor two. We are currently on daytime. Capsicid is both red and green. Ooh. But, I don't know, to me, Bayleaf feels more festive. It's like a bunch of flower decorations? Hmm. What about... Yeah, 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 yeah. So it would it would be Capsicid on this, this floor. Or floor three. Uh, t -t 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 nothing seems more festive of those options. <laughs> I guess Chat Talk could be. Or Roly Coley, it's literally a block of coal. Um, let's look at our box. I feel like Roly Coley might actually be some good coverage that we don't have yet. Except I kind of hate having rock types. I think I think I'm still gonna go bay leaf for the mistletoe. That to me is jumping out as like the most festive Pokemon that we could catch here. And look, it wants to get quick Did not want to get quick ball. Um, who can actually not kill you? Uh, let's go for a Shadow Sneak. Should be pretty chill. Come on, Mistletoe. Let's go, Mistletoe. Come on, come on. Oh, you just healed up to full, you downright dirty dukin' son of a bitch. Okay, we're gonna Shadow Sneak again. Did it, like, set up a bunch of... I was not reading. I'm not gonna lie. Did it set up a bunch of defense buffs? Freaking high crit moves. Oh my god. There's the flash. Oh, that's what it's doing. It's lowering my defense. There we go. We got our mistletoe. Is it spelled like missile, like, like this? I'm pretty sure it is. Balder, don't at me. But we have a couple of fights to get through, and I think that's where we're going to call it with this episode. Because uh, they're not too hard. Although I have lost Mons to them in the past, and looking at our team, uh, we don't- we're not exactly swimming in broken stuff. Wait, do you have Electromorphosis? That's actually really good synergy. Out comes the normal Electrode. That's a two-hit KO if ever I've seen one. Electromorphosis Arctazolt. We had a chance to get that earlier. And it is an ice type, so that's something we can keep an eye out for. If we see an Arctazolt in the future, I am. I'm actually gonna try and catch that, I think. Uh, now this is a double battle. He's got Grookey and Hisuian Voltorb to lead. And who does he have in the back? Let's see. I'm surprised how much I remember this, actually. But here's what we've got. So Grookey, or Thwacky and Voltorb lead. Bro, do we do it? Do we do the plus minus combo of the ages? 
Wait, hold on. I'm actually gonna do it. I don't I don't care if this is optimal. Uh what's it called? Twisted spoon. And then on you, I want to give you the pixie plate. Yeah, I don't even care if this is, like, not optimal. I think this is sick. When do you ever see somebody actually get plus and minus going at the same time? Uh, let's actually just make sure those are the Pokemon that have plus and minus. Hold on. Minus? Plus. Uh, unfortunately, Wish doesn't have any special attacking moves at the moment. There's the Grassy Surge. Uh, what does more? That's a 96 power, and that's a 60. So we're gonna go for extra sensory on Voltorb. And why don't we go for Will-O-Wisp on Voltorb? That way, at least next turn, it will be... Yeah. At least next turn, we'll be able to take it out. Oh, you just blow up right away. Okay. Jingle Bell flinches. That's okay. Because Jingle Bell rocks. Who's coming out is the Sableye. I think priority is going to be Extra Sensory You and Will O Wisp You. Yeah, you're gonna willow me, that's okay. I'm gonna willow you. And guess what? I'm not gonna miss because I'm a fire type. Hits every time in this game. Don't we love that? Can I get a, uh... Wow, dude, that does so much. And we can actually just let Sableye sit there. It can't really touch either of us. Let me know how you would type out B-Braille's cry. Uh, let us... Let us extra sensory b -Braille and we're gonna, again, Will-O-Wisp b -Braille. Yeah, Sableye, you protect. I'm not going for you, dude. I'm not going for you. You don't do anything to me. This guy does something to me. Bro, look at Minus Go, and the burn is going to guarantee we get the KO. Kind of sick. Okay. Every Everybody's healing. Oh, that's going to make sure that it actually doesn't kill, I think, because of the grassy terrain. Yeah. Uh, but here, I think we just uh, teleport out. And then I am going to flame charge the Bibarel. Chimeko? I'm sorry. I wasn't familiar with your game. I'm sorry. There's the foul play. And there's my teleport. Uh, why don't I just switch into... Uh, let me go into Dasher here. Because I can just Leech Seed and Covet. It's probably going to protect here. No. Okay. I forget, does Leech Seed heal both Pokemon in a double battle? I guess we will never find out. But hey, we beat a boss fight. That means we get a yay. I gotta say, I'm I'm pretty happy we were able to actually pull off the uh, the plus and minus strat. I've never actually gotten to do that in this game. Now, next up we have a Glamette, Mightyena, and uh, Houndour. So really quick, I'm gonna level up our other guys. And don't forget to leave a comment, like, whether or not I should be using gift Pokemon for the holiday theme. Um, because that'll determine what I do with that Dragalge that's just sitting at the bottom of the box right now. Ooh, Reflect, I actually... I like that more than Poison Powder. I'll take that right now. 
Oh, Mistletoe is going to pop off once it evolves. Magical Leaf over Razor Leaf, because you are a special attacker. And Christmas Present. Uh, I feel like you're a physical attacker, aren't you? I'd rather have Hex for now. Phantom Force. I don't love this move, if I'm being honest. Um, but I guess it's better than Lick. But let's get our last battle out of the way. Uh, we want to lead with a special attacker that can KO the Rock Poison type. Just because I don't want to give it the chance uh, to set up its poison shenanigans on me. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Big idea time? Check this out. We lead with it. That way we copy the Toxic Debris. I can protect turn one. And then go for Mud Shot on turn two. I like that. That seems fun. Uh, what do we have for Houndour? We have a Fighting Pokemon. What do we have for Mightyena? Actually, I do like Wish for you. Uh, I think I don't want to take you... I do want to take you. Yeah, I think we're I think we're going to be good with this team. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This feels good. I have a lot of things that are weak to this Mighty Anna though cuz it has Fire Fang and Bite. Like, that's all you guys. So I think we're going to have to stick with these three. Our whole team is really susceptible to fire, but that's what happens when you're playing a holiday-themed run, aren't, aren't we going to find that? Nothing but freaking ice and, uh, ice and grass types. All right, but let's, let's get this one out of the way, and we can call it here for today. Bars. That's what I say. There's my imposter. Boop, boop. Let's protect to see what you go for. Mudshot. As I suspected. Ah, oh, you do outspeed me, which is yikes. Snowball! Well, there goes the entire plan. Oh, and I didn't heal. That means Snowball is on our naughty list for now. We're just gonna have to do it. Yeah, unfortunately there's no way for me to get around that. Mmm. Bro, this thing hits so hard. Are you kidding me? I need a flying type. I think we need to prioritize getting a flying type, like, immediately. Another layer of toxic debris. This is probably going to kill me here. Yep, the crit definitely got me. We can go into Christmas Pass, who at least doesn't get toxic spikes. And go for a... <laughs> oh, gosh. Go for a Shadow Sneak, I suppose. Oh, of course you withdraw. Into the Mighty Enna. Watch this do literally four damage. A bit more than I thought, if I'm being honest. Now, I expected to go for Bite here. Over Fire Fang. If I had healed, this would be the perfect switch in. Oh no, that is bad. I did go jolly though, so hopefully I outspeed here. There's there's nothing I can do, I just do it. Like, this is the answer. Uh, 
bite? I can't stay in on Houndour, which is bad. Because of the toxic. Yeah. There's the Houndour. It's probably going to go for a Snarl. If I had to guess. Let's go into Dasher. We at least have fighting type moves. I think going with the uh, speed tie plan was a bad idea in hindsight with uh, Snowball. So that's my biggest yikes. I think I think we're fine now though. Uh, we should be fine against Glimet. Unless it outspeeds me because it has Venom Shock. Hold on. Hold on. I really don't want to have three Pokemon on the naughty list. Okay, looks like I do outspeed. <sighs> Just go for double kick. Alright, two Pokemon on the naughty list. That's a yikes. If I had just healed, I could have stayed in one more turn with Ponyta. Uh, but let's update our naughty list. Uh, we have Snowball and Squirtle on the naughty list. That sucks. That means... I need you to type in the comments whether or not the optional bosses should give us another pull off the naughty list. Because we do have the opportunity to fight Bugsy, who I think is honestly a harder fight than Misty anyway. Um... But, oof, this team has some common weaknesses, I'll say that much. Uh, but we will get out of the cave, and next time, next time we see each other, we will take on the rest of our Christmas lock. But if you've enjoyed this much, please be sure to leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing if you want to check out the rest of the series. Um, also, give some love to the other episodes that I've recorded, because this is something I was really excited to do, and I'd love to know that you guys out there are loving it just as much as I am. But in the meantime, I've been Flash Ketchum, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Yay! <laughs> have a good day, everybody.